Hi, Miss Sherry here from Scenic Regional Library in Owensville, from my house, but um, just wanted to join you this afternoon and show you some a cool way to make your own dragon. Dragons seem to appear in a lot of stories about mythical creatures and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna show you today in just a minute how to make your own um, accordion fold dragon. He'll move or she will move. You could have a face at just one end. You could put a face at both ends if you would like to. It's simple. Hopefully you'll have fun with it. So let's get started. Of course, I didn't want to show you how to make a dragon without showing you a few of the books that we have at the library about dragons and we can certainly get more in. So here are a few of the books that we have. The Island of Dragons, Warren and Dragon, 100 friends and a few others over here. Also the things that you're going to find in your kit if you go to your local branch you'll get um, some patterns for faces. You can use these patterns but you certainly don't have to and you can paint them you can decorate them however you would like. You should also get a set of um, eyes some cool eyes that you can stick on to put on your dragon and there is a set there. With the dragon that I made right here I also put the stick on eyes on him and I painted his face. Other tools and supplies that you will need, you'll need some glue, um, a pair of scissors would be handy, and you should have in your kit, along with the patterns, you should have six strips of paper. I sorted these out so that I have primary or complementary colors together. So I have orange and blue together, red and green, and yellow and violet or purple. I hope that when I um, fold these together, that I'll get a little bit of an optical illusion because those colors side by side tend to look like they're moving. All right, so once you have your strips, you're going to take them and you're going to make an L shape with them like so. Have your glue bottle handy and you can use any kind of glue that you might have around your house. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of glue on here. Then I'm gonna put my green piece on top of my red. I wanna make sure that my edges all match up really well. After that, whoops, not quite glue. After that, I'm gonna take my red piece and I'm going to fold it over my green piece. If you can do this without picking it up, sometimes it makes it easier, sometimes it makes it a little bit harder. You just have to remember to alternate. So I just took red over green, now I'm going to take green over red. I'm gonna go from right to left there. And now I'm going from bottom to top. I'm taking the red back over the green, from left to right, green over red. red back over the green. So now I'm folding down. And I do this until I come to the end of my strips. So I've got the head of my dragon cut out and I put the googly eyes in place. The final step would be to decide if I want to put him on one of these that I already have made so that I would have my third dragon or I could even take one of my dragons that already has a head and put a head at the other end. Be creative, come up with, whoops, whatever kind of solutions you want. They do move and spring around, so I hope you have fun making your accordion dragons.